All right, now let's turn to China. Their big meeting is Wednesday, tomorrow in San Francisco. I don't know why the Bidens don't understand China is not our friend. They are not our ally. They are our adversary and our enemy. Joining us now is Robert Lighthizer, the brilliant former U.S. trade rep uh, during the Trump administration and author of um, No Trade is Free, Changing Course, Taking on China and Helping America's Workers. Uh, Bob Lighthizer, welcome to the show, my friend, as always. Um, I don't, you know, I don't, <laughs> China is financing through oil imports, as you well know, China is financing two wars, the Iranian war against Israel and the United States and the Russian war against Ukraine and the United States, point number one. Point number two, I haven't heard a thing about tougher trade policy, okay? And point number three, they keep talking about managing competition. Uh, what does that mean, managing friendly competition? That's not the game, Bob Lighthizer. No, it sure isn't, Larry. I mean, it's as one of your other guests said, we live in we live in scary times. So, I mean, look at the we face probably the biggest geopolitical and economic threat in American history. And this administration does not understand it. They think that China is like a Switzerland from Asia. I mean, the president today said it's in our interest to have the Chinese have good jobs. Well, that's not true. It's in our interest to have Americans have good jobs. They had a spokesman yesterday, Larry, who said the president's going to try to convince Xi Jinping that, that, that it's, it's not in their interest to have instability in the Middle East. They don't seem to understand that, as you say, these are proxy wars. They're paid for by the Chinese. Of course, this instability is in China's interest. What they want to do is have their ally, Iran, become the, do the, uh, the dominant power in the Middle East. And, and, and you combine that with, the, with all the fentanyl coming into the United States, with the economic warfare that's been going on. What's happening is we're showing weakness, and that emboldens, uh, it emboldens someone who wants to, 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 to take us down. And they're, they're more aggressive, more adventuresome than, than they have been in any time in decades. So it, it's a very scary time, and, and the fact that they're getting together. And I'd add another element to this is sort of troubling to me, Larry, and that is that Maybe the real reason for this whole meeting is for Xi Jinping to meet with these businessmen wow. who, according to Mike Gallagher, are spending up to $40,000 apiece to have dinner with him at a time when, when the Trump administration really starved China of new American investment. And these business people are sitting there and they're going to be, be trying to be enticed to have more investment in China when the investment ought to be in the United States. So it's, it's a very, very difficult time. And unfortunately, the Biden administration does not seem to understand it. And the trade deficit is still running, what, $350 billion a year? I mean, I don't see, are they enforcing the That's phase true. one? Are they enforcing the phase one trade deal? Are they enforcing um, intellectual property theft or the forced transfer of technology? I mean, I don't get it. I mean, no one's uttering a peep about this. There's all this talk, Bob, you've seen it. Um, the administration is talking about de-escalating. And Wall Street is talking about, isn't this wonderful, we can de-escalate with China. That is just the most unrealistic uh, approach imaginable. It's total, look at it, it's total appeasement. You talk about the trade deficit and you talk about the money transferred to these other sources for terrorism and the like from China. That's U.S. money. Those are U.S. dollars. That's that $380 billion trade deficit plus another $300 billion from technology theft plus the, 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 the profits from the fentanyl. I mean, we literally, it's U.S. money that is building up China and paying for this adventurism. And what we ought to be doing, you ask, are they keeping the phase one deal? No, they didn't keep the phase one deal. And we ought to be using that as a reason to do a strategic decoupling, mm. to not to have no trade or no economic relationship, but we ought to have one that's smart for America. And what the Biden administration is doing is they're really encouraging more U.S. business to operate in China, more investment in China. They're doing exactly the opposite of what they should be doing. And, I mean, their, their trade policy also has a kind of a contradiction in it. It sounds like it's designed by a bunch of lobbyists in Washington. At the one time, they're going around Asia and saying, be closer to us, not China. And at the same time, they're going around trying to be closer to China. Mm. It's an inconsistent policy, it, it, and it's and it really these are you know these are dangerous times. They're dangerous times. Um, I am reading your book carefully. We don't have time to go through it tonight. We will, but I'm reading the book carefully, and you're right. 
The test of a trade policy should be the impact on the middle class, on working folks, on manufacturing. I agree. Okay? I'm going to say that. I'm going to acknowledge that on the air to my friend Bob. You Weiser. and I are going to sit down. <laughs> We're going to sit down, maybe down here in Palm Beach. Yes. We'll no, sit I'm... down, Larry, and we'll talk. The China stuff we agree on. The other stuff you're coming around that I'm proud of you. I'm moving. I'm definitely moving in I'm the, the right direction. We have more time for Bob Lighthizer. That's terrific stuff. Bob, the other thing, I, I mean, I, I don't want to emphasize it, but we have not done a damn thing on enforcing the sanctions on the China oil imports. And I want to come back to this point. Um, China is funding the Iranian terror war. China is funding the Russian-Ukrainian war. I don't see any discussion of that. I, didn't, I don't see calmness talking about it. I don't certainly see the administration talking about it. We had tough sanctions in the Trump administration. Those sanctions were enforced. Now they've been lost. And look where we are. We're in a lot of trouble. I'll give you the last minute on that point. China is funding two wars well, against the United States, Bob Lighthizer. There's no question. But take the next step. Where is that money coming from? That money's coming from us, Larry. It's coming from a bad trade policy. It's coming from our surrender to them economically. Mm. That's where all that money's coming from. Mm. It's, it's this bad Chinese trade policy that is really out there um, funding all this adventurism around the world and, by the way, funding the fentanyl. Mm. All right. Terrific stuff. Bob. And there's no understanding by this administration. No, but we're blowing the whistle. We're ringing the bell, like you always do. We appreciate it very much. Bob Lighthizer, trade rep in the Trump administration. Read his book. It's a heck of a good book, folks.